I've seen a few other people make some videos on the weapon no reprieve, and a lot of them were saying that it deals crazy DPS. That surrounded made it cracked. And in my opinion, it just isn't true. Yo, what's going on guys? It's G Miners here, and in this video, I'm going over the real god roll, no reprieve that you should be going for, along with some damage testing, and then comparing the differences between using this alone versus something like slug swapping. As always, if you guys do enjoy these videos and you want to see more like them on the channel, make sure to drop a like and sub down below. Right now, only around 17% of you guys that watch these videos are actually subscribed, so smack that red button, and let's get into some numbers. First and foremost, the main reason that I do not think Surrounded is a good perk for this weapon is the fact that it is borderline unusable for 90% of players within boss encounters. Just sprinting through some of the recent raid bosses in the game, War Priest has no adds, Golgoroth does, but popping well will kill them on successive orbs, so this wouldn't always be procced. Sister adds are more likely to be far away from the 8 meter range, but it is technically possible here. And then on Oryx, if you could get the adds to go up towards Oryx, I would say this should work. In Val, Caretaker should work well with Surrounded, but it also depends if the adds track to you on each plate. Rolk, I would say, would require an extensive setup of keeping the Shadow Thrall alive, running away from them to drop a well or something equivalent, and then hoping Rolk doesn't kill them when dashing. In DSC, I would probably say that add density isn't enough for this to always work on Atrax. Tanix is a definite no. It could work in Vogue, more so for Templar than Atheon. Consecrated Mind, it would be completely impossible. And then for Sanctified Mind, it would be pretty hard. And then in Last Wish, I would say it would work against Kali and Riven if you're cheesing her, but I don't think Morgath adds stay alive during the DPS phases, nor Shirochi unless you leave them alive. Not to mention that Surrounded doesn't linger unless you have Surrounded Spec, which still only makes it linger for 1.5 seconds, so anytime an ad leaves this range, your damage will go down. There are still definitely places this would work, but not well in my opinion, and as I mentioned, only if you're in a full fire team leaving adds alive, and even then, some of these that I listed might still not work or even be optimal for slugs in the first place. So with all of that said, I think that the universally better role for no reprieve is going to be triple tap and then focused fury. Looking at how hard this hits with a base headshot, we are dealing 33,197 damage against this Lost Sector boss, and then once we get Focused Fury to proc, that is a 20% increase in damage, which is 39,836 per shot. Within my testing, I found the most optimal role to be a ranged masterwork with full bore, assault mag for a faster fire rate, triple tap, and then obviously once again, Focused Fury. Using backup mag will give us 7 in the mag, and with regular ammo economy, we're only going to get one less shot, and the same exact thing holds true when using double reserves. So even though we are getting one less shot in total, we'll be able to proc triple tap two extra times with this setup. You could also easily opt to run something that increases your mag size without running backup mag, that way you still get the 7% increase from boss spec, but the fire rate does really make a difference when using this weapon to deal damage. Even comparing double slug swapping, where you get to bypass most of the delay between shots, you can see in the first test that it takes us more time swapping with 65 RPM slugs, and in the second test, with the same amount of shots, it takes less time with 70 RPMs. So long term, this will have a larger effect on our DPS. Now looking at the time it takes to shoot off 20 shots, which is just 2 mags of 7, also proccing triple tap 3 times, this would be dealing 4 shots at base damage, and then 6 with the 20% buff once Focus Fury is procced, which would bring out our total damage per mag to 371,804, and then across 2 mags, since even across reloads, we would still have Focus Fury procced, because the buff timer would have been refreshed, we would get these next 10 shots to actually all hit for the 20% bonus, which is now 770,000 damage in total. Using our base reload speed, this would take us 20.68 seconds, which is a 1 mag DPS value of 48,500 and a 2 mag value of 37,200. Using this in a Luna faction well, on the other hand, where we get max reload speed, this now takes us just 18.42 seconds in total. So once again, our 1 mag DPS value is going to be the same here, but the 2 mag DPS value jumps up to 41,811 damage per second. 
And then finally, if you were to bypass the reload with a dodge or something like Reign of Fire equipped, this drastically drops the time spent dealing damage. So our DPS jumps up once again, now taking 16.06 seconds, which comes to 47,955 damage per second. Overall, I think No Reprieve is actually a pretty solid weapon, but in my opinion, options like Fortissimo with four times the charm and Vorpal Weapon are just going to be better. The advantage to No Reprieve is that you do get to craft this role, which is still super strong as a secondary option if you can't get the other god rolls. Swapping with Focus Fury, on the other hand, will not work because it does require three shots to be hit before stowing the weapon. So once again, No Reprieve wouldn't work in swapping situations. When it comes to running Surrounded with the enhanced version of Perk and Surrounded Spec, this jumps up to a 47% increase in damage. And then comparing that with the 20 shots we fired from earlier tests, assuming that the Surrounded buff applies to every shot we fire, this will come to a total damage output of 975,000 damage, making the 1 mag DPS value 63.7k and the 2 mag value 60.7k damage per second. On the other hand, most double slug swapping methods come in around the 60 to 70,000 DPS range, so adding the Surrounded roll to a combo like this would definitely make it better, but once again, I don't think Surrounded is as viable as others make it out to be. Let me know your thoughts on this shotgun in the comments below. What role are you rocking, and do you think I'm wrong about Surrounded being too hard to use? I think it could be great in a very optimized situation, but for general damage phases, I just think it's too inconsistent. I do also stream a bunch over on my Twitch where we do a ton of Lomance and speedruns live. A link to that and my Discord server are going to be in the description below if you care to join. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.